I am Omega Pax. I am the last of the Cybertronian historians. This is the history of Transformers. It is unknown if there were any planetary civil wars among the Quintessons while they controlled Cybertron. The first known war was the Robot Slave War Revolt around 11 million years BC. The Quintessons had built Cybertron as a factory to produce two types of slave robots military hardware, and consumer goods. For a million years, the Quintessons maintained control, but when their robots began to develop emotions, they turned on their cruel Quintesson masters. The first revolt was carried out by a band of non-warrior robots, workers, scientists, and technicians. A slave called A3, who somehow possessed a secret weapon called a Coda remote, led them. However, the Quintessons from the year 2006 had used a time machine to kidnap A3 the night before the final assault. Just as that occurred through the future, a team of Autobots attacked the Quintessons. The Autobots found themselves outnumbered and outclassed, so in desperation they jumped through the time window and into the past. They were rescued from the attacks of a Quintesson Dark Guardian robot by Beta, the acting leader of the revolutionaries and accepted into the fold because they too wore the slave band, the Autobot symbol. Beta decide to lead the attack on Hive City, with or without A3, and the Autobots simply followed along. The attack went well at first, but the motley band of freedom fighters soon proved to be no match for the Quintesson's many Dark Guardians. Suddenly, however, A3 returned from the future and used his Coda remote which was activated when he removed a slave brain and turned its reverse side to the Dark Guardians. It emitted a wide beam of light that caused the giant robots to stop in their tracks and fall down. A3 urged the Autobots to return to the future, which they did, and the Quintessons' time machine was destroyed upon their arrival. After the slaves drove the Quintessons away from Cybertron, peace reigned. However, the division between consumer goods and military hardware was becoming acute, as the two groups had eventually named themselves differently. The consumer group robots called themselves Autobots, and the military hardware robots were known as Decepticons. While the Autobots preferred a peaceful existence, the Decepticons wanted conquest. For a time, the Decepticons succeeded. The Autobots couldn't match the brute strength of the Decepticons, so they turned to stealth learning the art of transformation. Using this new technology, they defeated the Decepticons and ruled for many centuries in the Golden Age. Peace was kept with the use of the Guardian robots, presumably based upon the Quintesson's Dark Guardians. These were sentinels that protected cities, quelled uprisings, and generally did the dirty work of war. However, the Decepticons eventually learned how to transform, and also developed some form of anti-gravity that allowed them to fly without the use of jets. They also built a powerful leader for themselves, Megatron. Circa 9 million years BC, the war began anew. Megatron led his army from victory to victory, targeting many power centuries to fuel his troops and build his forces. While the Guardian robots were powerful enough to strike fear in the Decepticons, even those giants were suffering at Megatron's hands. Even the safety of the Matrix was in question, so Alpha Trion, formerly known as A3, kept it in hiding for many years. It was to this time of violent flux that the newly created aerial bots were accidentally sent to from the year 1986. They soon met a young energetic worker at an energy shipment facility. This robot, Orion Pax, was in awe of the Decepticons. But his feelings changed when Megatron attacked his workplace and gravely wounded him, his girlfriend Ariel, and his friend Dion. The Ariel bots took Orion to Alpha Trion, who was devising new ways to combat the Decepticons. Alpha Trion rebuilt Orion into Optimus Prime, the first of a new breed capable of fighting Megatron. He also rebuilt Ariel into Alita One, but it's unknown if Dion got a similar treatment. Some say Springer could be Dion, due to their similarities, but this is only speculation. At some point, Prime was named leader of the Autobots, and Alpha Trion gave him the Matrix. For the next five million years, the war raged on, draining Cybertron of its resources. Even the buildings and landscapes, which used to glow with radiant energy, became dull and barren, 
In search of new energy sources, Optimus Prime led a team of Autobots on an interplanetary expedition that ended when Megatron attacked and boarded their ship. As the Autobots and Decepticons fought, the ships stayed too close to the nearby planet Earth, and the resulting crash rendered them catatonic. For the next four million years, Shockwave commanded the Decepticons on Cybertron, who maintained their upper hand. When the Earthbound Transformers were revived during the Cold War, in 1984, Megatron schemed to harness Earth's resources and send the energy to Cybertron. With the invention of the Space Bridge, interplanetary travel became very easy, and Megatron's plans came closer to flourishing. He may have succeeded, at least in part, for by the year 2005, the Decepticons had driven the Autobots off of Cybertron and were poised to attack Autobot City on Earth. When they did attack, the Autobots were able to fend them off but not without losing Optimus Prime. Megatron had also been mortally wounded, but Unicron, who recreated him, revived him into the ultra-powerful Galvatron. Under Galvatron's command, the Decepticons hunted down the Earth-based Autobots, while Unicron devoured the two Autobot-controlled Cybertronian moons. Unicron then began to attack Cybertron, doing the Decepticons severe damage. Until the young Autobot, Hot Rod activated the Matrix of Leadership and turning into Rodimus Prime, destroying Unicron. Having been decimated at Unicron's hands, the Decepticons retreated to the burned out world called Char. Rodimus Prime announced this to be the end of the Cybertronian Wars, but he was clearly overconfident. When Galvatron returned and reunited the tattered Decepticon army, the war began to rage again. This time, a new wrinkle was added in the form of the Quintessons, who formed tenuous alliances with the Decepticons in an attempt to reclaim Cybertron. In addition, the two groups of bots and cons stumbled upon Nebulos, where they allied with the human inhabitants by binary bonding, itself a milestone in the war. This also led to another turning point, the institution of a new golden age, the Autobot ally Nebulans helped reverse one of Galvatron's schemes, and the result was sucking energy out of the sun and into the material of Cybertron itself. Thus, the planet once again glowed with golden energy. It's still under exclusive Autobot rule, while the Decepticons remain elsewhere. <laughs>